Well, in addition to the salary, benefits are one of the most important things employees look for when applying for a job. But there are different ways companies can provide benefits for their workers. Peter Sashecki from Everything Financial joins us now with more on this. Good morning, Peter. Thank you for joining us. Morning, Jason. How are you today? We're great. Uh, talk to me like a 10-year-old. What is a claims <laughs> adjudication company? Instead of using an insurance company to do your health and, and process your health and dental benefits, and we're only talking about the health and dental portion today, not the life insurance and the disability, those you're going to stick with the insurance company. But a claims adjudication company is really just that. They adjudicate and process, for simpler 10-year-old words, <laughs> um, they process claims, Jason, yeah. and uh, do it for a, a much lower fee, which is great, which saves the company money, saves the employees money, especially when most plans, especially in today's day and age, have cost sharing where the company will cover you know half the cost, the employees chip in for half the cost. Mm -hmm. This allows you to process claims cheaper and for way less money and put more money in your pocket. So how does uh, this differentiate from standard employee benefits? Well, I'll give you a, a little example. In a normal benefits plan, and let's just pick a, a good size but average size company, say the claims are about $50,000 a year in claims. Your premium on those claims with all the different service fees, just everything thrown in from the insurance company, that premium in a year might be about $95,000. Give or take a few thousand dollars, but we're pretty close for, most, for the most part. A claims adjudication company, because it's imagine it's like a big box store for your health and dental benefits where you cut out all the middlemen mm -hmm. and do everything in bulk. That same cost probably on the high end would be about $70,000. And that's everything in there. That's your travel benefits, you name it. They even have insurance to make sure you don't have excessive claims that could bankrupt the company. So they even have a, a little protector thrown in there too. So it's just a, a lot of savings just to keep things simple and you get all the same benefits. And that's, that's really comparing apples to apples plan with those price savings. So how much can a company save then and does this also help the employees? 20% roughly. And yes, with the employees, that's the other part that's really important is again, if you're cost sharing, that's less payroll deductions for the employees too. And a lot of companies, what they'll do instead is add in a little better benefits, give them a few more benefits, or maybe even take some of that company savings and put it towards a company RSP plan mm -hmm. to help the employees save for retirement. So there's a lot of savings to go around, or maybe the company is able to afford an extra couple employees because of the savings. Any savings will help, but for the most part, we see that savings passed on to the employees with slightly better benefits or the company will put in an RSP plan to help get them on their way for retirement and uh, money in your pocket is money saved and that's never a bad thing. So why don't advisors uh, sell this plan? Why, like, I, I know you do, but why don't more do? Well, a lot of it is um, really nothing more than they're not aware of the availability from a lot of the different companies that are out there that have it or a lot of the companies don't offer it. It's only offered by a few companies in Canada and, and they're very competitive. Each company is really good at it. Like it's not like I can say one's way better than the other. They're all really good. They just have their own little specialties. So there's not offered, it's not understood. And a lot of advisors think that, oh my gosh, if there's a huge claim, because the company is really just paying a fee to process claims, they'll get scared by the insurance company that, oh, this is going to bankrupt them. But there's this insurance called stop loss, which really helps with the excessive claims to keep things under control. I've been doing this over 30 years. There's not instance, incidents where that's going to really affect the company. So it's, it's a good alternative for advisors to look at and save their clients and their companies some money. Impeccable timing as usual, Peter. Uh, thank you for that claims adjudication company. 101. Thank you for dumbing it down for me. <laughs> well, hopefully I made it like a 10 or even an 11-year-old can understand. Have a great day, Jason. Yeah, you too. Have a great week. Talk to you next week.